Captain's log, star date 020217. The purple is all finished and ready for washing. Let's have a closer look at the ships. Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Uh, right, time for another update on the Battlefleet Gothic ships. Now bearing in mind that this, this lot of miniatures and also all the miniatures that I've painted before were from Lou from 40k War Paint. So if you haven't checked out his channel yet, I will put a link in the description below. Head on over and give him a sub for me please. Um, okay, so yeah, I've been painting, busy painting these guys and uh, I've now completed all of the light purple. So from the previous video I've gone into the front areas of these, uh, laid down the Hormagaunt purple and I've laid down the light purple. I've now given them another coat of uh, varnish uh, so I'm ready to wash them. Uh, and once washed of course I can start highlighting the purple so uh, really really proceeding nicely. So I'm going to zoom into each unit and uh, let you have a closer look at them. Okay, so starting off with the big ships, I'm just going to show you one of the, uh, from the each unit. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to show you underneath because I don't think you've really seen this in too much detail. Um, but you can see there where I've been painting around that white, where I'd laid down that uh, bright white at the beginning of the painting process. So this is quite tricky, just getting into all the grooves and the, the nooks and the crannies and also making sure that I didn't get it on the white. And you can see on the top there, there's all those guns. Uh, where the gun barrels are eventually going to be uh, black, along with these little vent things here as well. Um, and I'll be picking a few of the gemstones out. Uh, but yeah, that's how the uh, big ship is looking. And this is the um, very old sort of wraith ship. Um, and as you can see, I haven't done too much in terms of leaving white areas because it didn't really suit this model. So I've just gone for white cells and the rest of it is purple. So not really too much to see on there, but it's a pretty cool looking ship. And even though it's a totally different design, I think it will match in with the army quite nicely. So yeah, that's that one. So now we're on to some of these really small sort of baby ships as such. Um, and again, I've been sort of going in the under sort of sections of the front and just leaving those white. So this one was pretty simple to do because there wasn't too much um, cutting in. Uh, but yeah, that's how those little ones are looking. Pretty cool little ships. We then have this little baby one as well. It's pretty funky. It's got these sort of little side fins uh, there. You can see all of the vein work that I had to do um, on that back section. And then on the front section, I've got a sort of uh, under and over section where it's white so again I just had to just make sure I didn't get any purple on that area. But yeah that's how that one is looking. Okay so then we've got this ship, a slightly bigger ship than the other two um, but again it's quite detailed in this area here, the sort of mouth area where I've left it white on the top and bottom. This was quite tricky to get into because it was already glued together um, so I had to just make sure that I didn't get purple on that white. Um, because it's just difficult to clean this up. It's not impossible, but it's obviously a bit more work. Um, and of course, I'll have to go ultra careful when I'm doing the purple wash as well, just not to get it onto any of the white areas. That is how that one is looking. We then have this one. Similar sort of idea. Again, just uh, making sure that uh, I kept this white. And uh, it's quite interesting. This uh, front section looks like the front of... Um, a fire prism, the little section, the antenna that goes on the front. So it's nice to see the sort of Aldar theme happening uh, throughout the different miniatures. And then lastly, there's this unit here. Now I've got three of these, and again, just quite intricate little area just here, just to be a bit careful with. So that's why it's taken me so long, really, to to paint these. Not only have I done two coats of purple. Uh, but I've been making sure that I've been uh, neat and tidy and not getting it onto the white. I've probably said that about a thousand times, but it's quite important. So there you go. Okay, so that is how the ships are looking. So I really hope you like them. Uh, like I said, the next task is to wash them with the purple wash. And then I'm ready for highlighting. So I'm looking forward to getting them highlighted. Because once that's done, uh, they'll be well and truly over the hill and uh, coming towards finishing them. 
Right, okay, so thanks for watching them. I'll see you in the next video.